In the history of Pokemon, Game Freak hasn't been too keen on giving major buffs to specific Pokemon. Typically, you'd see older Pokemon gain very slight stat increases, new moves, or gain an evolution. However, a total rework of how Pokemon plays is not part of Game Freak's MO. In Generation 7, however, they gave three Pokemon some incredible abilities that completely changed the way that they played in competitive. Today, we're going to talk about how Game Freak took three forgotten bottom tier Pokemon and made them into metagame staples. Prior to Generation 7, when you thought of weather setting Pokemon, you'd think about Tyranitar, Politoed, and Ninetales, which had Sandstream, Drizzle, and Drought respectively, but these Pokemon weren't included in the Gen 7 regional decks. With VGC 2017 limiting the usage of Pokemon only to those native to Alola, many players recognized that weather teams would be almost non-existent. Game Freak actually took some initiative here though and gave these weather abilities to Gigalith, Pelipper, and Torkoal. Simply by giving these Pokemon these abilities, the way they saw play was flipped entirely on its head. Gigalith went from being a mediocre Trick Room Rock type to being an incredibly bulky Trick Room Sweeper thanks to its special defense boost that it gained from the sand. Weakness policies became far easier to activate thanks to the extra bulk, letting it tank even Choice Specs water moves. Pelipper went from being a mediocre Tailwind Pokemon to the only Weather Setter that had access to both Tailwind and U-Turn. Beyond that, its offensive power greatly increased with Rain Boosted Scalds and 100% accurate Hurricanes. Its Rain plus Tailwind made Swift Swim Golduck even more difficult to play around, as under these two conditions, it was actually able to outspeed even Scarf Tapu Koko. Finally, quite possibly the biggest glow up of all, Torkoal became a Pokemon. Jokes aside, this really had the biggest impact on the future of VGC out of all of these buffs. Torkoal, while it has very mediocre stats, is able to make up for it simply by having access to Drought. This allows for Chlorophyll Pokemon next to it to spam Grass type attacks and Sleep Powder, while also giving it a 50% boost to its Stab Eruption. Torkoal is actually among the slowest Pokemon of the game, underspeeding even Amoongus. This low speed makes it devastating under Trick Room, but once Trick Room ends, it's still a problem to deal with. Chlorophyll Pokemon next to it can shut down your Water, Rock, and Ground types that would normally deal with it. And Lilligan specifically was actually known for using After You, a move that allowed the targeted Pokemon to move instead. By using this next to Torkoal, this thing actually became the fastest thing on the field and could likely gain a few KOs with a single attack. To this day, we still see Torkoal exploit these qualities even in restricted formats, being great into Pokemon like Calyrex Ice and Zacian. Without this buff, we likely would have never seen Torkoal top cut events, but now it's a top tier Pokemon that has to be prepped for. This undoubtedly is the biggest buff in competitive Pokemon history. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything new, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content and like the video to support the channel. It helps out more than you know. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters as well. You can see your name at the end of my videos by pledging just $1 a month, or get access to two bonus videos every week by pledging $5 a month. Thanks for watching.